A uh, couple different things. Um, Want to make sure you have your always and nevers cards. We're going to go through those real quick. Uh, the always and never. So let's just rapidly go around the room. We'll start with uh, Nate here. Always. We will always take a circular approach. Change is continuous. Improvement is continuous. Execution is continuous. No beginning, no end. What does that mean? Always improving, uh, Im improving, never hitting a dead end, never saying this is good enough, always looking for that next step, and always keep going. Yep, so are we doing that today? Have we been doing that? Are we looking for ways to improve our processes, clean things up? That's what we're looking after, right? Yep. Okay, next one, Tyler. We will always use a bit, a bit. to update our system, invite them back, and thank our guests for doing business with us. Okay. What does that mean, folks? Make sure you got current address, phone number, email, things like that in the system, as well as invite them back to a future event, like for instance the hot dog one going on today. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. Genuine thank. Thank you. Thank you. Genuine Thanks thank for coming thank in today. Thank you. All right. A genuine thank you is. Eye contact, smile. Eye contact, smile, thanking someone you know, genuinely for spending their hard earned dollars. We all work hard here when we go spend money. We want to be appreciated. There's no reason that our customers shouldn't feel that exact same thing. Jesse, you want to hit another one? Yeah. We will always understand that profit is vital since it allows us to grow and take care of our guests. Without profit, we cease to exist. What does that mean? <clears throat> Making money is important. It's not necessarily something that we should feel bad about. It's, uh -huh. We're not here to make things negative. It's we're here to do business. It's rider to rider. Have fun with it and just enjoy the fact that the, the profit does help us continue our business. Yep. Does, uh, does, does that gross profit, what, where does that gross profit go? Back into the business. Yeah. Where, yeah, do, where, does, where does the, the majority of gross profit that, of things that we sell go to? What Taking is the... care of customers. As towards, towards, their, towards, towards the expenses towards involved expenses. with generating that profit. What is the largest expense? Employees. Employees. <laughs> yep. All of us in the room, right? <laughs> so it goes to us. So Okay, next one. We will always maintain a company of leaders perspective. Learn from everyone in the company. Teach everyone in the company from top to bottom. Uh-huh. What's that mean? Do you owe me? Um, whether you're in management or in recon or just detailing, um, there's room to learn and there's room to teach others. If you think somebody's not doing something the right way, it doesn't matter their, their ranking, you should still be able to step up and tell them something. So it's an obligation, right? What, wherever you are, whether you're managing someone or whether you are being managed, it's your obligation, even if you're being managed, to learn about something else versus saying, I have no idea, I don't. They never taught me that. Has anybody ever heard anybody say that? Oh yeah. Yep. So it's an obligation. If you're about to say that, it's your obligation to also be asking, can you show me that, right? Andrew, next one. We will always come to work, be punctual and in uniform. A smile is part of our uniform. Give us a smile, Andrew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. compliment others. Uh, I think the shout outs are a really big part of this. Um, one of the things I love about being here is is people just constantly complimenting each other and make sure making sure we're being um, recognized for our efforts and you know just mm, passing around that good energy and making sure we're feeding back into each other and keeping everybody positive. Yep. Next one. Me? Yeah, right, John. <clears throat> we will always show a pre whoops. We will always make sure that no one leaves unhappy. Tell us about that one, anybody? I think there's a difference between um, someone leaving unhappy, sorry. Someone leaving unhappy versus someone that's educated. So like you can be someone can be upset that you know, a service and two tires or whatever costs X amount of dollars, but as long as you build the value and they understand why, like it's not our fault. Uh -huh. So like explaining this, I'm rather just saying like, oh, we, we don't, we don't uh, install customer supply tires. And then they leave pissed off. Explain why, there's, uh -huh. a, there's a reason behind it. Okay, so avoiding the word no is part of that, right? Building value and then explaining prior to that. Next one. We will 
always look for opportunities to wow and improve. Tell me about that one, John. Um, so if you hear something, a customer say something that might be an opportunity for us to do something nice for them, making sure to share that information with the staff or the appropriate person. It could be Mark's new program of surprising and delighting. Um, yep. Our radar is on and our antenna is up. We're looking for those opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. Recently, uh, there is a, there's a gentleman by the name of Jesse Cole that owns a, a minor league baseball team in Georgia. Uh, they, they do exceptional things. They learned two hours uh, before the game was about to start, there was two people in the stands that were that were uh, took a picture on Instagram about being just in being engaged that day, and they posted on Instagram and tagged the Savannah baseball team. That team then decided two hours before the game because they, that, that's all the information they had is they figured out where those people were sitting based on the photo, went to the store, bought flowers. A bunch of different stuff and then during ha during the uh, intermission game of the seven inning stretch went and presented those folks with that that requires a lot of work in a short amount of time would you agree mm -hmm. so that's looking for the opportunity to wow but your radar has to be on your antenna is up we're looking for those opportunities next one we will always be loyal to Wilkins and speak highly of our staff mm -hmm. pretty obvious if you're doing something is it fair to the customer is it fair to Wilkins is it's part of that, but also just not talking poorly about the dealership or about anybody that works in the dealership. Yep. So sign of weakness when you just start talking about others, right? So the, the point is, is that we're looking for opportunities to either maybe take the punch for our staff members. How would that feel if someone was mad at you, Tom and Jenna took the, took the brunt of that, right? You might feel a little bit guilty, but on the same point is that's all of our job is to just help the customer be happier with the whatever the scenario is but instead of they could say oh that's Tom's fault he didn't right next one we will always do what we have to do not what we want to do what does that mean it's about taking the right road not the easy road or basically <clears throat> approaching the situation that you should rather than walking away from it yep sometimes we avoid difficult discussions so we kick the can down the road we decide oh it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning and we'd rather just wait until 11 and then 11 comes we're busy and then it's one o'clock and then you know what I'm just gonna call them on Tuesday right bad news go ugly first what else do we call that phrase what's a short eat the frog eat the frog eat yep the frog. if you know you gotta eat a frog when's the best time to do it right. okay next one we will avoid being an order taker and instead focus on wants and needs <clears throat> What we have to do in these, every interaction that we have here is build relationships, listen with our ears and understand the burger picture because somebody coming in for a simple item may actually have greater needs that we could help them with and being aware of that, as, as John says, having our radar up for that is a part of it. We're just not transactional here. We look to add everything we can to that customer's experience. Patrick. Uh, always, we will always use customers' names when applicable. Uh, it's really important. Builds rapport, builds more of a family friend relationship rather than you're just my customer. You're just here to pay me money. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how many of those online review comments have there been that? Oh, they knew my name when I came through mm -hmm. the door. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's been a bunch that mentioned that. A great, great point, Andrew. Yeah. We will always communicate our vision and plans, but be open to other ideas. Um, that really goes with any department. Um, you know, if, if you have an idea, that, you know, that might work in P&A or, you know, with the sales team, you know, don't be afraid to voice it even though you may not specifically work in that department. Have you experienced that yourself where you've come up with ideas on things that may be charitable ideas that you've wanted to do that maybe we weren't planning on doing? Several times. Okay. <laughs> And so. you know, I, I'm always asking. You know, even though you know it really is something. You know, I've I've offered I volunteered to kind of spearhead. You know, I always, you know, like in morning meeting Wednesday for the breast cancer awareness stuff. You know, I openly said, you know, I'm more than willing to, you know, talk about you know ideas that people might have. You know, I'm always looking for help, and I appreciate it. Mandy, <sighs> focus on accountability. Who does what by when? Delegate responsibility. Give authority. Stay in the loop. It's a pretty big one. What does that mean? Um, well, I think accountability is huge here with us. If we mess up, just admit it, move on, um, and then who does what by when. It's really keeping up on our 
lists, um, delegating responsibilities, I think is all just a part of our note taking that we do and um, staying in the loop, our manager is staying in the loop with their staff, is staff keeping their manager in the loop. It's all continuous. Yep, staying in the loop after you assign a, you know, a, a accountability to someone. I asked John to get do something, that's gotta stay on my to-do list just to follow up with him and make sure he's done whatever that is. Instead of saying to the customer, oh, I passed it off to John, right? Inspect what you expect. Yep. Eric. Uh, we'll always encourage a flexibility and adaptability. Be willing to collaborate for the well-being of the company. Be ready to zig when the industry zags. Uh, so I would say that's just us going about our day-to-day, -day, working with other departments to make sure customers are taken care of, but it's also making sure that we're on top of things as far as, um, you know, like big changes we've had to deal with the past year or so is COVID and how to stay on top of things and stay ahead of the game. Um, so we just got to always have a secondary route so that we can be efficient and still produce. Would you call a zig and a zag? Anybody here drive more than uh, uh, 10 hours in a day to go buy a motorcycle? Raise your hand. Have we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Isn't that, isn't that not weird? That many people driving that many hours in order to zig when the industry is zagging, right? Mm -hmm. Next one. I can't read. Uh, we will always use all our resources, internal and external, beneficially. So think of what are our best resources, time, energy, effort. Oh, that's right, no. Uh, time, money, and I'd say effort. So are you really maximizing your time in the dealership? Uh, are you getting your work done? If you have to spend dealership money, quote unquote, are you actually doing it to better the customer or the dealership? And then outside, are you taking the time to either relax or are you taking the time to get caught up on work that you're not getting caught up during the day? So that's it. John. We will never say anything about someone that you haven't already said to their face. Yeah. Uh, I think that one's kind of self-explanatory. Reminds me of a quote I read recently that said, conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Meaning if you have an issue or something has come up, take care of it. Um, it's not that it's comfortable, but it, oh, it doesn't get better with time. So say that quote again, conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Everybody hear that one? Okay, Alan. Uh, we will we will never leave any reasonable request unfulfilled. Uh, we're 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 all in a position to do, uh, you know, enough to help a customer uh, without having to go and and, and get a, an opinion or something like that, uh, depending on the situation and, and what we can do to help them. Just make the decision on your own. If it's something a little bit more than that, then you can involve somebody. But we all have the decision making. Uh, around here to, to just do whatever we can to make sure that that customer is taken care of and fulfilled. We're all empowered to take care of a problem up to how much money? $500. Hunter, next one. Uh, we will never judge or be disrespectful. Yep. Um, how I see that is just we will never judge a customer for what they purchase, um, see if they got an accessory or anything like that. It doesn't matter it's really to us personally. Um, and we shouldn't kind of hate down on them. Um, and maybe if they buy a certain type of apparel, uh, maybe the only way we should kind of go along is uh, kind of motivate them to kind of get other things that they might like along with just that one piece. Okay, good one. Roscoe. We will, we will never overshare. Overshare, what the heck does that mean? Pretty much means, I mean, we all have a pretty close relationship, but there's just, we also have our own personal relationship. So sometimes you can get into a conversation just kind of, you just got to keep your back your head there. Certain stuff you just don't, you kind of overshare with somebody. You know? Okay. Certain things we don't, we don't have to tell customers, right? I mean, right. That, that's just being honest that customers don't want to hear about our daily problems, right? We all have them. So, Steve. Uh, we will never hurt one's reputation to further one's own personal integrity, but if everybody's doing that, it just raises the whole <coughs> level of discourse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's right there on the page. Marissa. We will never show negative emotion in the presence of customers. If something happens, just we need a five minutes or whatever, just take the five minutes and come back and be ready to go. Can some customers be kind of mean? Yes, they can, mm -hmm. right? We're, we're humans. Sometimes customers are having a bad day and they can be really, really mean. And we could choose to match that emotion or we could just take a step back and say, okay, what do we need to do? If you've been on either side of that, it's a, it's a good reminder. Next one. 
We will never complain without presenting a solution. Uh, just as a for instance, uh, say there's a process that you might not like or might not agree with, however it is, um, don't just talk poorly about it. What can we do to improve that? Why don't you like it? What can you do or what can we do as a company to help uh, make that improvement to said whatever the situation might be? Yep, absolutely. Good one. Okay, who's going to quote? I like the one I just said, right? <laughs> well, let's, let, then let's hear it again one more time and then you can yell Wilkins on three. Conflict delayed is conflict multiplied. Wilkins on three. One, two, three. Wilkins! Have a good day. Woo!